Welcome to the Abu Dhabi Tour 2017, the third edition of this ambitious stage race, played out against the dramatic backdrop of sun, sand and open skies, featuring a lineup that would grace any grand tour. With all but one or two exceptions, the greatest racers of this generation are here to do battle, the fastest sprinters and a frankly stellar lineup of climbers. To a certain extent, it doesn't really matter for Manuel Imori now. He's going to get points, whatever happens, and he's going to get enough points to dispatch with the threat of Mirko Maestri. I think that's the case. My maths might have let me down. What he doesn't want to do is allow Kaboki to win and for him to finish third. Mori goes to the front. Mori takes the win. Mori takes the jersey into tomorrow. He'll wear the black jersey for the intermediate sprints competition with 16 points, having won. Manuel Imori can be very pleased with his day, the Italian riding for UAE Abu Dhabi. And so too for Astana can uh, Zakharov. Their work is done. They can sit up and think of their shower and their dinner. Ala Philippe just looking across. Oh, oh, there's a crash on the right hand side of the road. It's taken down a couple of treks. Take afraid of right. That's Contador. Contador himself, and that's without, that's outside the three kilometer uh, marker, which would denote a neutralization of any time distances or time gaps should there be an accident it's not molimer as well is it who's been gapped there certainly contador is going to be losing time and a bit of a chase involved as he gets on the radio asks for help they'll have one roundabout to go over but it's pretty much straight all the way to the finish line from here oh. there's the flat region, a big crash into the barriers loads of riders have gone down there i think all the sprinters were through and clear so the bunch sprint will probably still happen with all the main contenders but that was a heavy fall yeah i think kittle must have gone down there's a well, one of the dimension data riders, is that Cavendish on the ground? It is? A, no, it's no, not. No, I think Cavendish is there. Was it uh, Caleb Ewan potentially? But well, uh, I'm fairly sure Cavendish is still there. Greipel certainly riders is there. On the, riders on the radio trying to find out where their men are and who has been affected. There's Quintana. He's safely unaffected by that. Andre Greipel is definitely there. Marcel Kittel is not there. No, that is not Kittle who's sprinting there. So I think Sabatini. Kittle was, was definitely hampered. I think Kittle came down in that fall and things are set up quite nicely for Mark Cavendish there, who's got two riders in front of him, Bonifacio alongside him. Mark Cavendish, surely he can get round. He's got Andre Greipel. He switches to the right-hand side of the road. Greipel latches onto his wheel. It's going to be Cavendish and Greipel and Bonifacio. Cavendish goes to the front, hits the front, and Cavendish takes the win with Greipel in second place. Mark Cavendish gets 2017 off to a start that was dramatic there was a lot of damage there but it doesn't matter you get yourself out of trouble you get yourself round all the difficulties as Marcel Kittel he did hit the ground licks his wounds he'll have to go again not his day and not the day either for Movistar so Cavendish beating Andre Greipel from Germany then three Italians in third fourth and fifth Elio Viviani, Simone Consoni and Nicola Bonifacio. Good, promising sprint from him. Just got it wrong in the end, I think, in terms of timing. Roger Kluger from Germany and Orica Scott deputising in the sprint for Caleb Ewan, who was clearly hampered by that big fall that also did for Marcel Kittel's chances.